Praise the Lord, sons and daughters of the Most High God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is February 13th, 2023. And the Lord gave me a message on the 8th of February. Every time I try to bring this message forward, something happens. Just a few minutes ago, it did not take. I tried on the 8th to put it forth, but the enemy distracted me. On the 9th, I had to take care of my grandkids. On the 10th and on the 11th, things distracted me. So I am praying that this video goes forth today. He gave me a vision on the February 8th. 2023 at 9.05 in the morning during prayer my vision was fire beloved children of God my brothers and sisters in Christ God gave me a vision this morning during prayer Jesus showed me fire coming down upon me and I asked him what was happening to me and he said, I am sending down my power of fire upon you for the, the task you are going to do for me, for my honor and glory in the days to come. My beloved bride and beloved handmaiden, this task is not going to be easy, but it will help you through it. I will help you through it until you are finished for when i begin a good work i finish it completely the fire is symbolic for my power in which i shall pour out to all who are part of the bride and ye shall know that and ye shall know it for i shall reveal it to you my beloved ye are going to need this fire for your final days on earth which they are upon you all right now your holy father and king my brethren he did show me this fire coming down and he said just like the day of Pentecost we will be endowed with the power of the Holy Spirit to do all that we are supposed to do for his honor and glory as the Apostles did brethren get ready 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 for this is coming Shalom be blessed and we are out of here and before I leave, I want to tell you a story that happened to me when I was seven years old. When I was taken up to heaven, the Lord showed me a screen. And on the screen, I saw fire upon the earth, bombs, missiles, fire, fire. Modern Fire. consciousness, this word is usually associated with something catastrophic. And chaos Everyone knows the four riders of the apocalypse, the conqueror, war, famine, death, and hate following close behind him. These are real personalities with names that bring chaos and destruction in a decaying world. Death and hate take unsaved souls to eternal perdition. These riders on white black, fiery red, and pale horses, followed by Hades, appear one after another. And all the events that we see in the newscasts are the consequences of the work of the four heralds of the Apocalypse. Further, the Book of Revelation or the Apocalypse shows the most dramatic mystery, which will become one of the reasons for the return of Christ to Earth. Persecution of Christians is a hallmark of the end times, preceding the second coming of Jesus Christ and God's retribution. An example of this is Pompeii, now a necropolis city. On August 27, 79 AD, the city of Pompeii disappeared under a layer of ash. 
but few people know what was the true reason for the destruction of the city. The eruption of Vesuvius began just a day after the Roman holiday in honor of the god Vulcan. The spirit of bliss and pleasure has always reigned here. It was a city of incessant amusements, songs, feasts and orgies. The entire economy of the city worked to serve this. The blatant immorality of its inhabitants was known throughout the Roman Empire. Here all moral values, which were no better than those of the inhabitants of ancient Sodom and Gomorrah, were trampled in public. History knows how, under the drunken cries of the Roman bigwigs, distraught with wine and depravity, alive Christians were torn in pieces by wild animals in the theater or burned. The sudden eruption in less than a day turned the once developed and lively city into a dead desert. It became dark in Pompeii, as at night, a huge column of ash and dust rose, forming a cloud that covered the sun. Then stones and pieces of pumice fell down from above, and ash fell thickly. Fires broke out in different parts of the city. In a panic, the townspeople rushed through the streets and tried to escape, but the sulfurous fumes poisoned those who survived. The thermal energy released by Vesuvius during the eruption was 100,000 times more than the energy from the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. But especially interesting is the fact that not a single Christian died during the eruption of Vesuvius who, along with the few inhabitants, managed to leave the city by ship during the eruption. Even then, many connected the terrible destruction of the city with the judgment of God, who had struck those who had lost all dignity as human beings, while at the same time many saw in it the grace and care of God for those who had kept the commandments and the faith in that corrupted city. Today in the world, every five minutes a Christian dies for his faith. This frightening figure was first made public by an OSCE sociologist back in 2011 who estimated that as many as 105,000 Christians are killed each year in different parts of the world just for practicing their faith in Christ. This figure has risen sharply over the past year as a result of the massacre of Christians. This data was recently confirmed by a charity supporting Christians around the world. At least 100 million Christians on planet Earth are being persecuted for their faith. In addition, tens of thousands of Christians are being held in the camps, the organization notes in its report. Today, in 145 countries around the world, Christians face restrictions, discrimination, or open persecution in one way or another. Christianity ranks first in the world in terms of the number of persecutions. What is happening on earth? The answer is given in the book of the Apocalypse. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer, until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and sisters, were killed just as they had been. The history of mankind will end with judgment. God will avenge his mercilessly killed children. Immoral life and violation of the laws of the Creator will inevitably lead humanity to the end of history.